So I had an idea to do a new alien head shirt on a black shirt. So hey, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it turns out. Hi YouTube and welcome back to all my Buster Buddies. Hey, it's your big kahuna here, Brad, and this is Brad's Boredom Busters, your tie-dye art channel. So I thought of a new idea for an alien head shirt. I thought I'd try it on a black t-shirt, which means we're going to bleach it out. And let's see how that comes out. All right, so what you're going to need for this project is a 100% cotton t-shirt in black. You want to pre-wash that first. And then I like to actually soak it in water again and then spin it out so it's slightly damp. I find the moisture helps break the surface tension so the bleach uh, absorbs better. Yet that way it doesn't just run off and go places you don't want it to go. And so other tools that you're going to need for this project. We're going to need our sinew and sinew puller. You're going to need uh, some white marker or chalk to mark out the pattern on the shirt. You're also going to need a ruler to help lay out part of the uh, pattern. You'll need a pair of scissors to help trim off your sinew. We're also going to need assorted sizes of rubber bands to scrunch up the body. And then we're obviously going to need our bleach formula. This is a 50-50 mix of water and bleach. And then that should be everything that we need for this project. So my shirt's all prepped over here at the table. So let's get over there and let's get started. Okay, Buster Buddy. So here we are at the work table. Like I say my shirt, I prefer it slightly damp when I'm working with bleach. And so it is. Um, but I also find working with bleach, it's not necessary to turn it inside out like you normally would if we're tie dyeing so I have it just right side out but everything else is the same so I am going to center the shirt and then I'll fold it in half pull the front forward so we can do the layout and we'll go from there so let's center the shirt first <laughs> Okay, Buster, so there's our shirt all centered and pulled forward. So now it's ready to do our alien head layout. And uh, like I say, use whatever uh, means of marking your shirt that is convenient for you. So I usually come about three fingers down from the top of the collar. This is a small. Um, sometimes on larger shirts, I'll come down a little bit further, but I find that this places it pretty well on uh, the smaller size shirts, like smalls, mediums. Um, when it gets into large, extra large, then I kind of determine where I want to place the top of the head. But like I say, on these small ones, three fingers down works for me. All right. So whatever alien head shape you like, I kind of do... Oh, I don't know what you'd call it. It's kind of bulbous at the top and a narrow chin at the bottom is the shape I've adopted over, you know, the course of doing these for a few years. All right. So just the basic shape. Just like that. Then what I do after that is I like to find where the center of the head is. So I come down, that's 12 inches there. And then we go 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. So we'll mark 
10 and a half is my center of the head. And then I take the ruler, kind of go out about a 45 degree angle, lay the ruler, kind of the center of the ruler over my center mark. And then I'll come up like, uh, I'll say put eight inches at the edge of the shirt. And I'll go up maybe an inch and a half. And um, that would be like the bottom corner where my eye, this is, I'm laying out the eye. Of, didn't mention that, did I? Um, anyway, so I draw a 45 degree line. That'll be the center of the eye. And then I just kind of freehand kind of a teardrop shape. So I like it to be pretty big. So just kind of freehand that, come along here, sketch that out. I say, this is your project, your alien head. You can kind of use whatever artistic license you want to make it look however you want. Like I say, this is just kind of the process I've adopted for all my alien heads. All right, so that's the eye. Then I come down here, kind of in the middle of this narrow part. This is where the mouth will go, and it's just create kind of a V-shape. And then the nose is, just comes up a little bit, kind of across from where this uh, curve is. And that is just kind of this other kind of, not a, Quite a teardrop, but uh, just kind of a point like that. And that's my nose. Okay, so that's basically how I lay out my alien head. And so the first thing I do is fold up the eye. So get your sinew, put a slip knot in the end of it, get that ready. So after you have this folded, you can tie it off. Set that aside for a minute. All right, so the reason for the diagonal line is because I take that and we'll fold that right on that line. Spin this around so it's kind of facing me. Get the wrinkles out from under the eye. Okay, that's good. And then we just pleat that up around here. take I have these little you know, like little ponytail rubber bands or just little bitty round ones and I'll just put one around the eye just to hold that together okay so we can open that up now And then usually my next tie up is the nose. So let's get this ready again. And then I'll fold that in half. And just fold it back and forth onto itself. And then you get the sinew just tied as close as you can on your marks. If it's slightly below it, it's fine. Okay. But the one thing that I do do when I tie this, I try to go, you know, make the sinew wrap going down it, not up into the nose. So I want to just 
you know, layer it going downward. All right, and then the mouth, kind of the same thing. We'll fold that right in half down the center line. So match up both sides of your little V mouth, and then just fold that back over onto itself a couple times. Same thing, kind of wrap your sinew going down away from the mouth. Okay, so now we're ready to actually fold up the whole head. So just straighten it out as best you can. It's not too hard to fold up. It gets a little tricky around the eye because you've already got pleats that it's made in, in the fabric because you folded up the eye. But just do the best you can there. And so we're going to do the head now. And just like any other tie-dye pattern, when you're folding up along a line, you want it to finish as, have the line, you know, come together as straight as possible. And I know on the video, it probably is hard to see my line in, on the camera because it's kind of faint for me as well. But... Like I say, when you do yours up, you just follow it as best you can. You'll see it. And this is where you just have to manipulate the fabric, kind of make it go where you want it to go. And you'll be surprised how forgiving this pattern is if your line isn't perfectly straight and you tie it up with the sinew when you get done and you unfold it it's it's going to look fine you know, I've had some that I thought well I wasn't that good on my line but when I opened it up after it was dyed it looked just fine it was just the same shape that I imagined it would be even though like I said I didn't keep my line perfectly straight And I say you can manipulate the fabric um, even after you're done folding it all up just to try to get it as straight as you can. And this is a small, and sometimes on the smaller shirts, things get a little bit more cramped if you're in the larger sizes. You have more room and the eye isn't as close to the edge of the head. So... Just play with it. Okay, so now that's that. Now I can play with this a little bit. Get it where I want it to be. There we go. Not too bad. All right. So now you need to take this loop in your sinew. Open it up with one hand. It's pretty wide so you can... All right, you just keep wanting to say put one or two wraps around and then push down and tighten it up. Because you can go around a few times to actually get this snugged up. 
There we go. Just like that. Okay. So, what I normally do when I'm doing liquid dye, I think I'll do it even though I'm bleaching it. So, take this, you have the big part of the head here. I usually kind of fold that under and tuck it next to the rest of the head. Take this side of it, kind of do the same thing so the uh, so the nose and the mouth kind of face outward. You know, I get another one of those little rubber bands. And take one and go over there with it. Hold that all in place. And I think I'm going to put one in the back side to kind of hold the chin of the head tighter to the rest of the, you know, rest of this pattern. Tuck that in like that. All right, there you go. So that, that way it isn't touching this part of the shirt, you know, that we don't want to get bleach on. But what I am going to do is we're going to scrunch up the body because we are going to bleach out the body a little bit too. Just to give it the rest of the body some interest. So take your sleeve, kind of open that up and tuck it into itself. And then just do a simple scrunch, however you feel like doing it. It's usually just any messy way is fine. The messier, the better. All right, and then we get some bands around this. You want to you want to tuck the collar in to keep that away from the head. Come around this way and then grab the bottom of the shirt. And then come around the other way, grab the bottom of the shirt and the top of the collar, like that. One smaller one across the middle, pull that together. And then if you think you need to hold this top part, come across there. And that's probably perfect. All right, so that's our tie-up. Pretty simple. All right, so let me get everything set up here so we can do our bleaching. And I'll be right back. Okay, Buster. So here we are all set up. And you may recognize this as my normal dyeing setups. And so it works well for the bleaching as well. All right, so I'm going to lightly bleach the body, and then we are also going to bleach the head, and we can do the back of the head. We just want to be careful with the areas. So the mouth, nose, and eye, eyes, uh, I want them to stay the black color of the shirt, so just got to be very careful about applying uh, the bleach. It's another reason I like uh, having some moisture in it. That way it doesn't beat up and run off maybe where you don't want it to. Uh, what I am going to do, because when I dye the head, I'm going to come right down to the sinew. When I dye the body here, I'm going to stay back from the sinew. So I just want to kind of leave a, almost like a black border. So we're just dying kind of from here up. Anyway. So let's get started on that.
Okay, I think that's good. So now we just have to let the bleach do its thing. And so after the bleach sets here for a while, and I say, um, you know, it depends on kind of your shirt, your environment, humidity, heat, a lot of factors. Um, but, you know, when it gets to kind of a certain orangey look, you know, how the black shirts turn, then I will take it out to the garage in the laundry sink and I will mix up my neutralizing solution, which is 10 parts water to one part hydrogen peroxide. I normally do two gallons of water to about 16 ounces of hydrogen peroxide. That's usually just one of the small hydrogen peroxide bottles. That's not exactly 10 to one, but it's close enough and it certainly does the trick. Um, and so after this sets up and then we uh, get the solution ready, it'll go in that, oh, for about 15, 20 minutes to neutralize. And then I'll kind of rinse it out. But then I like to wash out the shirt after that. And so I'll wash it just in regular detergent on a regular cycle. Um, actually, it probably is a good idea to wash it in hot. Um, that really flushes out any of the loose uh, black dye that the bleach is kind of bleached out. And that way, uh, yeah, you clean it out really well and it gets all the uh, neutralizing solution and bleach out. And so after I get this neutralized and washed out, we'll bring it back here and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, dude and dudettes, here we are, it's finished. Hey, it came out really nice. Yep, all the uh, elements are very defined. Had just a slight bit of bleed into the eyes and a little bit around the chin, but not enough where it's gonna hurt it. Nope, it's really defined. You can tell it's an alien head. Yep, this is pretty cool. Hey, I hope you like it. Hey. Give me a thumbs up if you think this is cool and share it around. Yep, I'm very happy with this. This came out great. And the bleaching around the uh, alien head is good. Show you the back. Yep, this is going to be a very fun shirt to wear. And I think it came out real well. Anyway, I hope you learned something new on this one. Hope you enjoyed this video. And hey, come back for part two when we dye the shirt and i show you what that looks like. That's the end of part one. Let's head over to the desk and we'll do our sign off. I'll see you at part two. Okay, I think that project turned out rather nice, but that's just my opinion. But tell me in the comments what you think about it. At least I hope you learned something new in this project. And you know, you made it this far in the video, so why don't you subscribe as well? And Give me a thumbs up if you really thought this was cool. And Busters, if you like this video, please share it around. That really helps me out as well. And if you like to help out my channel, don't forget about my Buy Me A Coffee page. And also use my affiliate links. They're in the description below. Peace out, baby. I love all you subscribers. And go have fun tie-dyeing. Give me a thumb up. Great, I can talk.